Hello and welcome to the M3 version 1.5 demonstration video. Uh, this will be a series of short video clips to explain and describe the new functionality that's added to the version 1.5 release. Uh, we will cover the program finder, uh, multi-part program playback in a single field of view, uh, recordable overlay probe, simple field of view playback optimizations, uh, and exporting of the data cloud and printing of the feature detail stamp. So in this first video we will describe the program finder. The program finder is a function that is designed to help locate part programs uh, quickly uh, based on a matching pattern. Uh, the program finder is available on any uh, CNC system and any sys manual system that has the digital comparator option enabled. So I'm going to demonstrate this by quickly creating a new part program. Going to teach a pattern and measure some features in the field of view. Go ahead and play that part program back. And we'll go ahead and edit and save with a new name, Component Legs. Okay. The program finder function works by uh, specifying which part programs uh, you would like to have as eligible for the program finder function. Uh, this list is set up within the program settings screen in the new program finder subscreen. We can use the add and remove buttons here to select previously recorded part programs that will be considered for the program finder match. Program Finder is executed by pressing play when there are no features in the feature list. I'm going to go ahead and press play and you can see my component legs part program has been located and loaded. I will press play and the part program plays back. We can of course add additional part programs to the Program Finder list. We'll go ahead back to the Program Finder screen and add a part program that I had previously recorded. Blob Lumen. I've positioned the part in the middle of the field of view and I'll press play. As you can see the Blob Lumen part program has been successfully identified and loaded for playback. The next new, the next new feature that we will discuss is multiple parts in the field of view in playback. <laughs> 